Hey everyone, this is Grace. Hope you've been well. I want to come here and share with you Agnes's entries and um, she she's always so good about presentation. So for those of you who are not aware, Agnes lives literally about 10 minutes away from my house. And so I think we first um, met each other about two years ago. We met at the post office. We exchanged gifts. And then since then, we've just developed kind of a big sister, little sister um, relationship. And so um, I've been to her house. Bentley's been to her house. And then she, of course, has come to my house. And from time to time, I think we try to meet maybe once a month, once every other month, if things get really busy for us. And um, we'll just meet and talk crafts and... Um, Usually, we don't intend it, but we usually end up exchanging gifts. So anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me share with you the cards that she created. And the reason why I was telling you she lives nearby is because, because she's local, she's able to um, send me bulk without, you know, worrying about postage or things like that or packaging. And so she's just is always so good about packaging everything in such pretty like presentations so um, these boxes I don't know if I've shared with you guys but whenever Agnes um, sends me cards and stuff she puts them in these boxes and she just says keep the boxes and so I have quite a growing collection of these and of course I use these for a number of um, purposes and so this one's really pretty it has a very nice like kind of rustic but also vintage feel so it's rose or rosa 10 cents how pretty is this box right and then inside see i wasn't joking when i talked you know told you about presentation so inside um she created some an assortment of birthday cards and um well an assortment of cards in addition to christmas so hold on let me show you All right, so what she did was she told me that from here on out are the Christmas cards, and this is what the inside looks like. Isn't that nice that she did that? And again, such a beautiful, this is part of the LOL stickers. Um, she is a fellow LOL lover. And look, each of these have LOL stickers. Oh, so pretty, oh my goodness. Anyway, <clears throat> so these are the Christmas cards. And so, can you guys all see this? Acetate, she said that this was a Anna Griffin um, acetate set. And, you know, for those of you who work with this, you guys know how long it takes. And so, it's just a labor of love. And then here, same thing, acetate from Anna Griffin. She glues that down. And then again, these are things that she um, created, fashioned into a bow. And then these are tiny little, like, holly um, berries um, that she glued on so they're not berries but they're little jewels that she glued on so each of these so painstaking and then when she showed me this I was like oh so that's how you can use these stickers because she had gifted me these stickers before and I've just been you know kind of keeping them because I want to use them really well I don't want to just use them haphazardly right so, yeah, but isn't this so pretty? And I love how the acetate is like sheet music in the background. And then this I thought was so beautiful. Isn't that pretty? There's so much dimension here, you guys. She put like little um, crystals here for dimension. And then each of these have dimension. Oh, so pretty. And then this, for those of you who... <laughs> piece together your die cuts you know how you know painstaking this is as well right so she die cut this um edge this and yeah pieced it all together so wow and the same here with this one and again die cut this one and just all these little pieces then this i thought was really pretty hi bentley if you guys hear huffing and puffing that's bentley right above the camera um, and then this one, she die cut a bunch of these and just layered, I think, like three or so. And then this is a really pretty wreath. 
And this I thought was really nice, that vintage Santa Claus, Merry Christmas. She said this was a sticker, but it's one of those big puff, like pop-up dimensional stickers. Uh-oh, Belly, please don't, oh, don't paw the camera, Belly. All right, and then this one's so pretty. And she's got Merry Christmas here. Oh, no, Belly's looking the, Belly, no, 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 don't look the camera. <laughs> This I thought was so cute. This apparently is from the Mrs. Claus line. And so, isn't that so darling? I love this card. So pretty. And then, um, whoa, sorry. And then this has the stocking. And then here, she's she thought that this would be really nice for a teenager. So season's greetings. And then she um, has, I don't know if she colored. I don't think she, she painted the um, Christmas tree wood veneer, but so cute and then this i thought was really pretty so hopefully it's not too much of a glare but she used an embossing folder and it basically is uh, it says merry christmas in this very um shiny glittery paper and then of course she put these beaded accents on here and then this is a thin um border of washi tape that says merry christmas and again, she was telling me that she cut these out, dye, you know, ink dyed using the Tim Holtz, um, you know, inks. And so, yeah, very labor intensive card, as you guys can see, right? So pretty. So anyway, these were her Christmas cards. Hi, Bentley. I know. You was filming. Ah, don't lick the camera stand. All right. And then these are... The all occasion cards and so she's got this one that says with love and this is so pretty she's used flowers here and then this is one of those pocket die cut things and so you could put a tag in here a gift card a picture anything that you'd like and because this has dimension what she did was she included not only the regular envelope but a bigger envelope so like that she created a bigger envelope and so let's put that back in <clears throat> this I thought was really pretty with um, the wood veneer happy birthday and same here and so cute, huh? So for people who have like December or January birthdays, this would be really nice. And then this I thought was really pretty comfort, strength and hope. And I love how this is kind of in that um, kind of calligraphy. It looks almost like a shadow effect. And then she has... Um, this metal cross here as accents and then this is I think lace and a little bit of rickrack maybe so pretty though so so pretty and then this one is thank you card and these you guys know you can lift up for a much more added dimension so she sent that one and then again this one I thought was so cute look at this so she used these big, huge flatback dome jewels, and then she individually tied these. So it looks like the balloons are floating from the present. This is happy birthday. And she die cut this a few times too, to give it much more dimension. And then this is a really pretty um, and very kind of trendy wedding card. Isn't that pretty? So congrats. And then here it says, remember this day always. And then this I thought was so pretty. And Love Lovekins, if you're watching this, you'll be pleased to know she used one of your little things that you had used in a package envelope, I think. Um, so yeah, because she didn't want to throw it away, she wanted to incorporate it into another project. And so yeah, isn't this so pretty though? And then this too, so. Anyway, so those are her cards. Let's see, she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then she's got the Christmas cards, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So she has sent 20 cards over, Christmas and all occasion. Okay, I think Benley finally got tired. He's resting. <laughs> all right, so there's this. And then in addition to the cards, what Agnes um, told me she was going to do was because we're kind of turning this um, card fundraiser sort of into a little bit of like a craft fair. 
what she did was she um, put all of 20 composition notebooks. I think she said there were 20. 20 composition notebooks into, yep, 20. <laughs> into one of these awesome, you know, Dollar Tree bins, which I love. And then just to make sure that they weren't shifting, she put these really thick kind of vintage script paper, which you guys know I will most likely use again. So let me share with you what she did. Um, she was telling me that she found a bunch of these composition notebooks on clearance at Target. And um, she helps out um, with a local um, church, the sisters there. And so she'll do a lot of crafting and donating stuff um, to them. But um, once she was done with that, she said that she wanted to make a bunch for the Christmas card fundraiser as well. So that if someone wanted to, they could buy notebooks. And, and then she was so smart. She said that the wide rule composition notebooks, she put a little um, cupcake sticker on here so that we would know it was wide rule. But isn't this such a pretty paper? And so what she did was she cut this out, glued it on. Or taped it on and then she overlaid the green llama here and i think she fussy cut the green llama so pretty and there's the back oh agnes you should have you know written created by agnes and then this is another one so um she made that one and that's the back and they're all different too. Isn't this cute positive vibes for those people who love kitty cats? And she put them all in these really nice plastic cases so that they're easy for um, people. And this is You Are Magical or You Are Magic, the unicorn. So pretty. And then this one is more of a travel theme. And again, the... Cupcake ones, you guys know, are wide rule. This is the one that I saw partly her making. Now I'm going to take this out so that they sit better as I pull them out. Okay, much, much better. Is this not cute? I love the coffee paper and then such a cute little coffee mug. So she popped it up on foam tape. Yeah. So let me quickly go through and show these to you. This I thought was just wow. This is one of those embroidery applique. And it's a little mermaid. How cute is this? This is going to be such a popular item. And, you know, she was telling me, you know, just have the kids designate however much they want to sell for it. But, I mean, I think the kids are going to insist that we sell these for at least 2 $3 dollars. So, so cute though, huh? And then she made this one. Yay! And this is so cute. And then this one is much more of kind of an adult um, Thanksgiving kind of the rich um, fall tones. And then she put a little lace here. And so this is college rule because no cupcake. And this I thought was so cute. Look at this. And then she even has a tag here for like a bookmark. So this is her. And then that's also glued on. And then this is what you can use as a tag or a bookmark. So very nice. And then this is so cute. Happy. And then these are stickers that she's laid here. So, so cute. So I can see a lot of parents certainly buying this. And this is just art for those people who just want like an art so nice. And then this, again, it's like fabric applique that says love. And again, this is much more fall. And then same thing, fall. And then look, this little happy bird. And that, again, is fabric applique. This, I thought, was absolutely stunning. So for those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you do know that I love Graphic 45. In particular, I like the Graphic 45 designs of literary like stories, right? Texts. And Little Women is one of those that I love. And I was fortunate enough to get a collection, but I've been hoarding it and just sitting on the collection, not doing anything with it. 
Um, so when I saw this, my jaw dropped because, you know, it's one of those things that's so like, oh, graphic 45 paper is so awesome that I would not, you know, just create something and then donate it. Do you know what I mean? I would want it to go to someone very like, like someone that I knew that I knew would. So basically, Agnes, I'll make sure that whoever gets this really, really appreciates this because I looked at this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is little women. Isn't that so pretty? Oh. Anyway, and this is um, very, really pretty. It's got because of this, it's a fall harvest kind of paper, but it almost looks like a lit candle like a votive candle and then with God all things are possible so pretty again really really nice and then this I think is really pretty too especially for people who are into plaids and this is a really I love how this cor um, corresponds with the green and um, blue plaid okay thank goodness Bentley's sleeping anyway so thank you so much 20 notebooks so I will certainly put this accordingly to, um, along with the cards and tags. Um, I'll probably have to give the notebooks um, probably about two to three points at least. So I will do that. Although I'm sure she's she's like, ah, you know, don't worry about that. Oh, giveaway. Um, anyway, so that was the entries. And then as I shared with you, whenever she and I get together, we end up exchanging gifts. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, she totally showered me with happy mail, um, hand delivered, of course. And so she knows that I have not been going to Tuesday morning all that much. Although I did get to go to Tuesday morning this week with um, Bentley earlier this week. Um, but it was just one of those things where I just wasn't feeling up to it. And so I just didn't bother filming the um, Tuesday morning haul. But look, she found this. They're the cutting templates and she was telling me that usually when she makes cards she doesn't really use things like this but because she knows that I'm making that scrapbook for my niece and then another one for my nephew she thought that these would really come in handy and this is so nice can you imagine like um, specifically cutting this in their name and then that way I don't have to worry about getting you know like the lead alphabet stickers and I can use whatever design paper that I want with this so versatile I love that and then when she showed me this my jaw literally dropped because <clears throat> what was it last year or the year before I, th I think it was the year before <coughs> or maybe it was earlier in 2018 when I was feeling really well um Kimbo Creations I had done some Stampin' Up stuff with Kim and literally the stamps the alphabet stamps that are about like two inches and this I think is about a little over an inch and a half maybe but um, those stamps are really expensive and I thought oh it would be nice to have corresponding you know the coordinating dies with them and oh my goodness the coordinating dies were really expensive and so I slowly backed away from purchasing those but these are really pretty take a look at the font number one the font is gorgeous but then I was thinking this is literally very similar to the dies that I had been eyeing except those were in you know block letters and these are really pretty and so the beauty of these is that I can use them on any designer paper um, and it just would really be great. You can, you know, piece together memories. You can piece together people's names. You can even piece together a um, little sentiment if you want. And because I deal with a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout, perfect, right? And so this is originally $26.99. She got it for me for $9.99. And so apparently it just came out $12.19. So I had not seen this. But um, she was telling me very excitedly that she had been able to make it to um, the Glendora store. And so for those of you who are in the area, I think Glendora is either Wednesday or and or Thursday morning. So um, and then she totally surprised me with this beautiful umbrella. Do you guys see this? It's called Simplicity Vintage. And I do love my vintage ladies. When I was in college, uh, we had a choice of metal wastebaskets for our dorm rooms. And we had to have a metal wastebasket in our dorm room. And 
I remember we had the choice of like, you know, pop culture, like cartoons, but there was one that was very vintage and it was a picture of a facsimile of Ladies Home Journal. And I loved that. And so I used that metal wastebasket for years and years after, you know, um, I graduated from Wellesley and then my little youth kids needed it. And so I took it to church and then, yeah, when I take things to church, sometimes they just kind of poof and then they disappear or poof, they get ruined. <laughs> anyway, so, um, isn't that so gorgeous though? And it's one of those long umbrellas. And so I think Agnes was saying that she, um, had this in mind for my mother, mother, but, um, little does Agnes know that I have a thing for umbrellas. So I keep an umbrella in my office. I actually keep a spare, um, two umbrellas in my office, just in case a poor little student comes to my office hours unprepared and gets drenched, then I can loan that poor little student the spare umbrella and then have him or her give it to me, you know, the next day in class, right? I also have one in my car, have one in my bag, you know, one of those tiny little ones. And then um, I leave one in my house, of course. And so, you know, like the list goes on. I just collect umbrellas. So this will be very, very nice. And it's really huge. I love these really big umbrellas because then I won't get wet all that easily. All right. Now, the other thing I know, she sent me more, guys. Now, I think this is the last thing that she gave me. Hold on. All right. So this is actually the last thing I believe. Um, <laughs> I know there were a lot of things that she gave me today. Um, so this is actually my early Christmas gift. And so I thought I would share it with you. You guys know I do like to, whenever I can, film a record of things that you guys gift me. So I think depending on my energy level, um, sometimes if I'm just really tired, I won't. Um, and then I put those aside and mark them, you know, um, gift from so-and-so, but I'm feeling a little bit better today, so I can certainly share with you, um, what she gifted me for Christmas. So I love this tissue paper, the Buffalo check. And then, um, she got this from the paper studio, the pen and marker set. And I was telling her today that I had invested in some Tombow brush mark, brush pens. And um, unbeknownst to her that I had purchased those. So these are like perfect because there's space here that you can put the brush, the markers in here. Actually though, I think I just want to use these for my actual pens because I have so many nice pens. Do you remember my um, really nice... Um, Waterford pens and the cross pens. So these actually would be really nice to put in here. And then I love the mesh bags here. So, so pretty. Thank you so much. Um, I did already open this in front of Agnes, so she knows <laughs> that I loved what she got me. So this was her Christmas gift to me. And then, um, because we're not sure her schedule and my schedule, whether we're going to be able to meet up in December, although it would be nice if we can, because I'm sure by then we'll have more things to give each other. <laughs> but yeah, this is tissue paper that I will reuse. She knows I reuse. And I was actually telling her that the plastic um, bags that she uses, she gets these from Hobby Lobby. And I was telling her, oh, I can definitely tell because it's just a very different quality than the ones that we see at, you know, Dollar Tree or 99 cents only. But um, she even wrote Hobby Lobby because she wanted me to know where she got them. And so isn't this great? There's the stick abilities. They're kind of like, they're thinner than chipboard, but they're stickers. And she got these specifically with my mother in mind because she remembered um, my saying that my mom is really into floral cards. And I was telling her I was so busy and 
you know, not up to it, um, that when it came to making my mother her birthday card, I just felt so overwhelmed with everything that I just told myself, you know what, don't sweat it. You can get mom her birthday card later. And so, yeah, I haven't made mom's birthday card yet, so this will be really nice. And then, this is from Tuesday morning. Oh my goodness, you guys. So, this is so cute. Handmade with love. This little die cut. So, so cute. And then take a look. She found one of these. And I can't believe this thing is only $4.99. But she found me a little purse die. How cute is that? So, this would be so nice. So, I will definitely check this out. Um, and then she was saying that even if I didn't have... A big enough um, die cutting machine to use the purse there are all these other cute things that I can certainly use I love this tag how cute is that but yeah so um, I'm curious to try this out and see if it'll fit in my um, big shot I think someone was saying that you had to use the big shot plus so we'll see and then this is from Joanne which I don't go to anymore because Joanne's is kind of far from me so it's like Joanne is the same distance, literally, as Hobby Lobby is from me. So I don't go to those places. Um, the Joanne near me actually closed a few years ago. But she picked these up because she saw this and thought of my niece. And then she thought of my nephew. How cute is that in one little pack? And so this is the Maggie Holmes set. So, um, yeah, so sweet for her to think of, you know, the scrapbook that I'm making my niece and nephew. And then this she picked up. This is the Jen Hatfield um, paper clips. But look, a little girl and a little boy too. So this will be really nice to add as an accessory to the scrapbook. And then last but not least, I know, huh? She totally showered me with Happy Mail and Christmas gifts. And um, she had told me the last time we met that she had gotten me some really cool things at Michael's. And she said that she looked quite a ways, you know, several stores to find this. So, um, take a look. Oh, so pretty. So this is the Mrs. Claus or Ms. Claus set, right? Such cute stamps and coordinating dies. How cute is that? So... She picked that for me. And then this as well, the mama sticks, the foil stickers. And she was saying that these would be really great for just card making or just, you know, for my scrapbook. So, so pretty. So thank you so much, Agnes. Such amazing, amazing gifts that you just showered me with. And I was telling her, I need a craft. Otherwise, these, you know, lovely gifts are just going to, you know, gather dust. But yeah, so she found this paper pad and um, it's called Miss Claus. And look how pretty this paper pad is. I love that. And then this I thought was adorable. And then these, there was one in particular I was telling her, man, that would be, oh, that's so pretty, that it would be really hard to um, use in a scrapbook. Like this, you could totally use as a scrapbook layout, and I think it would be so fun. But like, that is okay too. But there's one in particular, like this. I would not want to mess this page up. It's so pretty. So I'll have to get creative. Maybe that could be like, the back and I could write something or put little tiny pictures or something. I don't know. Isn't this so pretty though? For those of you who are able to find this, oh my goodness. What an awesome paper pad. So I had seen, I think one or two of you, um, like talk about it. And I was thinking, oh, that's really pretty. But because I wasn't going to Michael's, I just, it was kind of like a foregone conclusion for me that I wouldn't be able to, you know, add it to my paper collection. And then little did I know, but Agnes ended up gifting it to me for Christmas. So thank you so much, Agnes. This is amazing. 
Um, I had so much fun just catching up with you and we will definitely, once things slow down for us a little bit in December, if there's another time, we'll definitely have to go and get lunch again. And yeah, but I just wanted to share um, certainly all of the entries that she sent. I mean, can you guys imagine 20 composition notebooks and then yeah, 20 Christmas cards and all occasion cards. That's just amazing. So thank you so much, Agnes, for these. And then thank all of you guys, too, for watching and continuing to support my channel. And um, yeah, I will be back with more entries because next week, what is it, Wednesday, is going to be the final deadline for me to receive these cards. And I need to finish filming the rest of the entries Um before Sunday because December 1st is when the fundraiser is so um, definitely stay tuned and in Christmas I'm hoping as I continue to go through my stash and organize and such to do a few Christmas gives giveaways as well um, that don't require you know sending anything in challenge wise or anything like that but yeah I just wanted to you know share this with you and just Wish you all a very good weekend, and thanks again, Agnes, and everyone else who continues to support. Bye. Take care. God bless. Bye.